My name is Susan Eady. Welcome to my studio. I am an author and an illustrator and you can see my messy clay desk right here. I've been working on some illustrations but I'm also an author of picture books and today I'm going to read one of those picture books to you. This is Poppy's Best Paper written by me, Susan Eady, illustrated by Rosalind Bonet who is a wonderful illustrator who lives in France. And today I'm going to read this with permission from my publisher, Charles Bridge Publishing. Poppy's Best Paper. Poppy loved books. You might be a writer when I grow up, she told her best friend Lavender. I thought you wanted to be a brain surgeon like me, said Lavender. I'm still deciding, said Poppy. Me too, said Lavender. Ding! Mrs. Rose rang the ringy thing. Class, today's writing topic is what I want to be when I grow up. Tomorrow, I will choose someone's paper to read aloud. Remember to do your personal best. Oh boy, shouted Poppy. I'm going to be a very famous writer when I grow up. I'm going to win prizes and talk at schools. And that's how I became this very famous writer. I might write 50 books or a 100. I'm your number one fan. Mrs. Rose smiled. Poppy, I like your enthusiasm, but please save it for your paper. At the bus stop, Poppy asked Lavender, want to come over and write? Sounds fun, said Lavender, but I write better by myself. Oh, said Poppy. Okay. At home, Poppy found Mr. Fuzzdog. She found her favorite notebook. She sharpened her pencils. She settled onto her bed. She wrote, When I grow up, I want to be a writer. She read her sentence. She wrote, I am good at writing. My dog likes the stories I write. She phoned Lavender. I have just written the best paper. I know Mrs. Rose will pick it. Already, said Lavender. Poppy read it aloud. Don't you think it's good, asked Poppy. Lavender was silent. Then she said, I think you need to write some more. Poppy was silent. I'm still working on mine, too, said Lavender. See you tomorrow. Poppy read her paper again. She added, I will be famous. The end. Poppy hugged herself. It was pretty much perfect. The next day, Mrs. Rose rang the ringy thing. Class, your future goals are fascinating. Here's a paper that really stood out. Poppy smoothed her fur. She licked her paw and polished her ear. She smiled modestly. Mrs. Rose read, Why I Want to Be a Brain Surgeon by Lavender Bloom. Lavender? Poppy gave her a huffy face. Poppy whispered to Petunia, Can you believe it? She doesn't even want to be a writer when she grows up. Shh, Mrs. Rose announced. Class, your next topic will be if I had one wish. At the bus stop, Lavender asked, Are you mad at me? No, Poppy fibbed. At home, Poppy told Mr. Fuzzdog, I am going to write the best paper ever, she wrote, if I had one wish. And she took a break. She wrote some more. I would wish to have my paper read out loud to the class. And she took another break. Treasure ahead. Then maybe my paper would be read to the whole school. She phoned Lavender. Phew, I've been writing for hours. Me too, said Lavender. Do you want to read me your paper? Are you going to copy it? asked Poppy. Of course not, said Lavender. No thanks, said Poppy. I write better by myself. Time for a break. Time for dinner. And then Mr. Fuzzdog was our lookout. Time for bed. La 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 la. Zzz. Time for school. Wait! I haven't finished my paper. On the bus, Poppy scribbled an ending. Then the principal would give me a good writing award. The end. 
She gave a happy sigh. She just knew her paper would be picked. After recess, Mrs. Rose rang the ringy thing. Class, you have some wonderful wishes. This one is quite inspiring, she said. Poppy smoothed her fur. She licked her paw and polished her ear. She smiled modestly. My Wish for World Peace by Lavender Bloom, read Mrs. Rose. Poppy slumped. She gave Lavender a mean look. You didn't even wish to win, she hissed at Lavender. Mrs. Rose said quietly, Poppy, please pay attention. Lavender doesn't even want to be a writer when she grows up, complained Poppy. Poppy, I know you have lots to say, but please don't be rude. It's not fair! Bam! Poppy, it's time for a break in the chill-out chair. Not fair. Now, class, your next topic will be how to do something. At the bus stop, Lavender wrote in her notebook instead of talking to Poppy as usual. Poppy wondered what Lavender was writing. She wondered very hard. Poppy, are you copying Lavender? asked Petunia. Of course not, said Poppy. At home, Poppy found her notebook. She sharpened her pencils. She wrote a sentence. She played with Mr. Fuzzdog. She wrote another sentence. She read what she had written. She threw her notebook across the room. Go away, Scraggletail, she shouted. Poppy! Do not call your brother names, her mother said. At dinner, Poppy stirred her food into mush. She spilled her milk and was not sorry. Go to your room, her father said. Poppy stomped to her room and slammed the door. Bang! She cried to Mr. Fuzzdog. Young lady, you had better be doing your homework. Poppy took out her notebook. She sharpened her pencil. She broke it in half. She cried. She sharpened another pencil. Then she had an idea. She wrote her title. She wrote a sentence. She fixed the sentence. She wrote another sentence. And another, and another, she did not stop to play with Mr. Fuzzdog. She did not stop to sharpen her pencils. She did not stop to call Lavender. She wrote one sentence after the other until she finished her paper. The next day, Mrs. Rose rang the ringy thing. Class, your papers give some excellent instructions. Here is one of my favorites. Poppy did not smooth her fur. She did not lick her paw. She did not polish her ear. She sat very still. Mrs. Rose read, How to Get in Trouble by Poppy J. Thistleberry. To get in trouble is very simple. First, talk in class even after you are told to be quiet. Then, be mean to someone who did better than you and try to copy that person's paper. At home, call your brother Scraggletail. Throw your notebook across the room. At dinner, mush your food and spill your milk and say you don't care. Stomp your feet and cry. Last and worst of all, be rude to your very best friend and do not apologize. This is my advice on how to get in trouble. Follow these instructions and you can get in trouble too. The end. The class clapped. Poppy blushed and gave Lavender a shy look. Lavender gave Poppy a big grin. Poppy smoothed her fur. She licked her paw and polished her ear and beamed a very huge smile. Thanks so much for joining me to read Poppy's Best Paper.